Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well and having a great week. I know it's the middle of the week, we're almost there, so hang on. Weekend is close by. But today's video is super exciting because I am doing a snack tasting video. I know it's strange, but last week I went to Peppercorns with my brother at the Ellerslie branch and yeah we picked up a couple of things really more my brother than me <laughs> and i shared a couple of the snacks that i got on my insta stories and literally people went bat crap crazy and i put up a poll asking if you guys wanted to see a snack haul because my dms were so full and just going off that day i was like okay clearly this is something people are interested in and yeah so here we are today <laughs> with this snack tasting haul from peppercorn so if you guys want to see what we got and what they taste like then keep watching so we did grab a bunch of stuff including some m&m ice cream cones these are like nutty royals but the m&m's version they also have the Snickers version as well. I'll have all of the prices on the screen. We also picked up some Krispy Kreme donuts. We have some Klondike bars, but it's like a Reese's version. So good. And we also picked up some Pringles. And these are like $50 a tin. So these things better taste good. So anyway, I don't want to drag this video. So I'm just gonna dive into the snack. So I'm gonna start with the frozen treats first because I don't want to have a wet mess on my vanity. So this is the M&M ice cream cones and it says it's a vanilla flavor. So here we go. So it's packed just like a Nutty Royal. It has the M&M symbol. Oh, I can feel this melting. Oh boy. Ooh. So this is the M&M ice cream cone and I'm gonna taste it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is really nice. It's a nice flavored vanilla ice cream. Mm. This is good. I like this a lot. This tastes really delicious. The vanilla ice cream in here is perfect. But the cone is getting a little bit soft so I need to pop this back into my freezer. Let's move on to the next frozen treat. So next up, I'm gonna try the Snickers ice cream cones. And this has caramel, peanuts, and it's a peanut butter ice cream. So it's the same cone shape business, has Snickers to the top, great. Let's get you open, girl. Mm. Oh yeah. We already love Snickers in this house, so I am pretty sure I'm gonna love this. And I think we bought this before. Oh no, I think it was the Snickers bars, yeah. So this is what the Snickers look like. See the peanuts on top. Um, it says caramel, but I'm not seeing any caramel. And well, the ice cream is supposed to be peanut butter. So let's take a taste. Has a nice peanut butter flavor. Okay, I think I like this one more, and that's because I'm biased. I love peanut butter, so mhm. Mm I rate this one more than the M&M's one. If you like peanut butter, you'll love this. If you like vanilla, obviously you'll like the M&M's one more. But so far, I prefer this one. I'm gonna save you for later girl just a side note you can see how well my Fenty stunner lip paint is hanging on even though I have been like licking ice cream so anyway the next frozen treat is Klondike mini bars but they are Reese's flavored so let me see there's peanut butter light ice cream in a milk chocolate flavored coated anyone ever saw jeff dunham with ahmed the terrorist he's a ventriloquist and <laughs> everything ahmed says is i kill you 
Yeah, he said he would kill for a Klondike bar. If I could find a clip, I'll put it in. It's just so funny. Silence! I kill you! Are you kidding me? I kill you for a Klondike bar. <laughs> But this is like a big box and you do get 12 of these in here so that's a lot so this is the package in here you can see it's klondike and races klondike bars are definitely one of my favorites but they run pretty expensive so this is what it looks like oh The ice cream tea is a bit funny. I guess because it says it's light peanut butter ice cream. I prefer like my full fat peanut butter ice cream in here. Not a fan of the ice cream. I mean it's chocolate coating. You can't really mess up chocolate. But not a fan of the peanut butter ice cream in here i'm not getting so much peanut butter but i just like something healthy so it's a no for me <laughs> i'll stick to my original klondike bars so this is going in the bad bag so up next i have the krispy kreme donuts and this one y'all definitely went crazy for i think this is what even inspired the whole video because y'all went crazy when y'all saw krispy kreme donuts and this is the Junior's chocolate dip. So they're like mini donuts. This one is a powdered sugar. And this one is a jumbo white iced honey bun. So this is a huge one. Please don't want to try the chocolate. Because I need to get that diabetic Klondike bar out of my mouth. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. I need 10 packs of these. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm. It's so buttery and sweet. It's soft, which is like something I was scared for because when you have these kind of dough products in the refrigerator, they kind of like dry out. I'm actually finishing this one because it's so good. Okay, this is like a 10 out of 10. I really like this. Mm. Okay, so now the powdered sugar donuts. So, this looks like it's gonna be a mess, but it's a classic white powdered donuts, except it's mini. This one is good oh god i like all so far i definitely going back for those for sure crispy cream so far with the money so now for the big jumbo honey bun Ooh. that smells good okay this looks super messy so it's basically a big white donut with this icing on it this is nice too okay but it's super sweet like those were okay but this is, is just like pure white ice sugar in this so yeah i don't think i can eat any more of this it's super sweet but really good i like this but so far i think i prefer the mini donuts I definitely need some water for sure next up is this Reese's Nutrageous bar I've never seen this before so this has milk chocolate peanuts peanut butter and caramel but it looks like a fancy nuggle to be quite honest so yeah it looks like a nuggle <laughs> so let's taste it
Mm-hmm. Okay. I rate this 10 out of 10 for sure. Like it tastes just like Reese's. Exactly like that. But in the shape of a bar with extra nuts. Well, Reese's doesn't have nuts, but it's like very nutty because of the peanuts on here. But I really like this. I don't want to share this with my brother. But super sweet. The next two snacks are ones that I picked up. And I am obsessed with like sour gummies and just like sweet and sour snacks. So I picked up this Warheads Sour Twist. So they're like bite-sized sour twist. And yeah, this has three flavors. Lemon, watermelon, and green apple. I don't think this will end well, but we shall see. And I also picked up the nostalgic snack pop rock like i was obsessed with these in school like they were just so fun to do you know those candies where you put them in your mouth and you know once your saliva hits it it just pops in your mouth sometimes they would kind of hurt but i mean mama didn't raise no bitch. so i'm excited to try these so i'm gonna go in with the sour twist first So this is what it looks like very tiny let's see how sour this is because it's like three sour flavors mixed into one. Oh boy oh mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. something in here tastes like clean and detergent like proper muffin liquid oh god what is that this is bad if you like twizzlers you'll probably like this oh god this is this is trash oh i regret this mm -mm. i do not recommend this this is garbage there's nothing sour about it at all and the flavor itself just tastes bad like the lemon smells like lemon dishwashing liquid terrible i don't like this mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay so hopefully the pop rocks save the day but this is like a huge pack i didn't realize this had 20 pouches in here and this has strawberry flavor as well as green apple flavor so let's jump into this pack so cool by the way oh this small tiny packets okay well that's disappointing i thought it was like 20 packs of the regular sized um packets which is like probably the size of like maybe a cell phone but jeez this is really tiny 20 freaking packs of these in here oh that's annoying so i don't like the quantity already but this is super cute i will admit so this is the green apple and this is the strawberry of course i'm gonna try both Ooh, i feel like such a kid again this is so exciting and there's this stupid little fly in here like if he paying rent this is what it looks like Ooh, it smells bad so this is like the little crystals in there it really does smell bad so let, let's do it let's do it can you hear it uh, <clears throat> lord of mercy okay i like the flavor of this it's like a sour green apple flavor the flavor is nice but the actual popping intensity is very weak like from what i remember pop rocks used to be it was like really intense sometimes you get some big crystals up in there but it's it's mild it's it's kid friendly i guess so let me try the strawberry flavor it smells sweeter Can you hear it? It's kind of weak, but still fun. 
like even while I'm talking it's like popping okay this is fun but I don't know if it's worth the money considering the tiny package but it's cute moving on to the salty snacks of this video I have two tins of Pringles in front of me so this is a prawn cocktail flavor and this is a paprika flavor now these run $50 each when I saw this because I did not pick up these snacks like I said the two snacks I picked up were these two snacks we just tried this I would never in my life pick up $50 for some chips it's, it's too much you know what skincare that could buy so anyway let me try this prawn cocktail flavor it smells fishy like shrimpy it has a tangy flavor when you first bite into it i guess that's the seasoning on the chip and then when you finished like almost to the end of it it has like of course the potato taste but there's like a hint of something cool you know like picture frying a potato chip in like shrimp oil or oil that you just fried shrimp in this is what it would be with some like old bay seasoning this is what this is reminding me of it's not bad at all i think i'll probably give this like a seven out of ten but definitely not fifty dollars of my money now i'm gonna try the paprika flavor so yeah this one looks like it is full of flavor mm-hmm mm -hmm. i can't describe the flavor of this I'm, to me i'm getting more potato than anything with like a kind of cheesy powder over it i don't know what the paprika in here is about but okay yeah definitely like the aftertaste of it you get like a hint of paprika but nothing crazy nothing overpowering so i like this one a lot i think probably more than the prawn flavor it's nice all these chips i need to find a good movie to watch tonight and last but not least is this pack of potato chips here this is called the dirty potato chips with sea salt we cook our chips kettle style in a premium peanut oil blend for a crunchier tastier potato chip it's gluten free and kosher certified these people really need to calm down like it's chips just chillax already we start off bad this is a half bag of chips <sighs> lord of mercy okay so it's a nice big thick potato chip okay let me see oh it's extremely crunchy okay definitely i love my chipsters more but it can be a bit oily at times like you can see the grease on your fingers after eating some chipsters but this is good do i rate it if you're on the healthier side of life definitely not me you would like these you would enjoy it it's a really crunchy potato chip i mean there's only so much you can say about a potato chip everybody has had potato chips it's nice it's good if you're on the healthier side for me I like my Lay's and my Chipsters. But that don't mean I can't enjoy this too. Mm. So now that the taste test is over, it's time to rank my favorite to my least favorite snacks in this video. And first up is definitely the ice cream cones. I can't decide between the M&M's and the Snickers. I may be leaning a little bit more towards the Snickers ice cream cone, but that's because I am just biased towards Snickers. But the M&M one was also so delicious. It's really good. So yeah, I think definitely those are worth the money. My second favorite has to be the Krispy Kreme donuts for sure. I honestly thought they were gonna be these little dried out chocolate coated things but 
It is so good. I am surprised by how well they were able to just hold the consistency of a real donut in a frozen section. It's still shocking to me, but it tastes so good. It, it tastes like you went into a shop and you bought fresh donuts. It tastes really good. I like it definitely. The two mini versions, the chocolate and the um, powdered donut, is definitely my favorite. The jumbo one is okay. It's just a little too sweet for my liking so I know my brother is gonna be down on that one what else did I try in this video okay the Reese's I love the Reese's bar this not rageous bar here this tea is so good but I will admit $17 for a Reese's bar is a lot of money so I probably wouldn't like keep buying this one i'll definitely like splurge once in a while when you know i'm really craving some reese's but definitely worth the try if you are a big peanut butter or reese's fan i also really enjoyed the potato chips it's very healthy so if you're on that healthy mission this is the way to go it tastes really good i love how crunchy it is it's not salty at all it just has like the perfect amount of salt but you know 20 something dollars for a bag of chips is a little bit up there at least for me i like my you know chipsters i like my tato to be quite honest tato is my favorite potato chip but again if you prefer healthy snacks you would really enjoy this the pringles i definitely enjoyed a lot but the paprika has to be my favorite of the two so if you are looking for you know exotic flavors of pringles you know where to go and get them but I don't know it's kind of fun to try but is this something i'll keep repurchasing i don't think so i also enjoyed my pop rocks candy i definitely wish it was like bigger packs so i could have more fun with them but i don't mind the mini packs they're actually kind of cute and yeah i i kind of wish they had like more popping effects like this was just very mild for me but it did bring back a lot of fun like primary school and high school memories so i like that part of it so my least favorite snacks in this video has to be these sour twists as well as the Klondike Reese's. There was nothing Reese's in that Klondike bar at all. It tastes like diabetic peanut butter ice cream. It tastes bad. I didn't like it. There was nothing rich. Or it, there's nothing in there that says Reese's to me. So yeah, I think they just slapped the name on there, put a cheap peanut butter ice cream. It's not worth it. Stick to the original Klondike bars. You'll come out way better the twist this thing tastes so bad this has to be the worst thing i have ever put in my mouth it tastes like a mixture of how your dishwashing liquid as well as your toilet cleaner would smell and they mixed it together to create these flavors and there wasn't even anything like sour about them it was sour for like two seconds and then it just went away and you're into this what they think is fruity but it's really just like trash can't believe i was so upset over this snack i think i had high hopes for it because i love sour gummies so yeah i'll definitely stick to like my local sour belts and all of that this don't waste your time don't waste your money and that completes this snack tasting video don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to comment as well let me know which snack you think you definitely want to try from this haul and while you hitting that subscribe button i'm going to finish my little Krispy Kreme donut because mm, i can't get over this it. it's so good also don't forget to check out my instagram because i do post a lot of fun stuff that you just would not see here on youtube and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching bye